Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Educational Specialist. Today, we are going over a test prep problem for fifth through seventh grade. The math concepts we will be using are discount and percentage. Our problem states, Stewart is buying a pair of jeans that regularly cost $40. They are on sale for 20% off. If the tax rate is 8%, what is the sales price of the jeans, including tax? For my problem solving strategy, I will need to find two things. What I am looking for and also what information is needed to solve the problem. My first answer is the sale price of the jeans, including tax. So I am looking for the sale price of the jeans, including tax. Remember, most times when you are looking for what the problem is asking you to solve, it is always, I'm sorry, most times followed by a question mark. So you find that question mark, whatever um, and sentences before it, that is what you are looking for. Secondly, the information that is needed in order to solve the problem are A, the sale price of the jeans, and B, I need to find the total price. This is a multi-step problem. First, let's look at how I find my, the sale price of the jeans. In order to do that, I must find the regular price and subtract the number of dollars the discount is. How do I find the discount? In order to find the discount, I am going to multiply $40 times .20. It is very important when you are dealing with percentages, before you try to solve the problem, you convert it to a decimal. How do we convert 20% into a decimal? I'm glad you asked. First, you drop the percentage sign, and then you move the decimal point two places to the left. That will make it 0 0.20. So in order to find my discount, I'm going to multiply $40 times 0 0.20 and that will equal $8. But I'm not done yet because once I find that discount, now I have to subtract it from the regular price. The regular price is $40. So $40 minus $8 is equal to $32. So the sales price of the jeans is $32. Now, I need to find the total price of the jeans. We're not finished yet because what we're looking for is the total price including tax. We haven't found the tax yet, so we need to keep on moving until we solve this problem completely. In order to find the tax, because we already know what the sales price of the jeans is, it's $30. But in order to find the tax amount to add to the sales price, I must take the sales price, which is $32, and um, add it to the tax. To find the tax, I'm going to multiply 32 times 0 .08. If you notice in the problem, it says 8%. Again, whenever you're solving problems, it is imperative, very important that you convert percentages into decimals. In order to convert 8% to a decimal, I'm going to drop the percent sign again, and I'm going to move my decimal point two places to the left. When I do that, I will have 0 .08. 32 times 0 .08 is equal to $2.56. So 
So to find the total price, what I am going to do is add 32 plus the tax, which is $2.56, and so my answer is $34.56. And there it is. My answer choice is B, $34.56. Of course, we're going to have to see what tips and strategies we can use in order to shortcut to find the answer. Here are my four window panes. What am I looking for? What answers can I eliminate? What strategy or plan will I use in order to solve the problem and also to work out the problem? What am I looking for? Again, we know that we're looking for the sale price of the jeans, including tax. Now, what answers can we eliminate? Let's see. We know that we can eliminate A. Let me tell you why. Our regular cost is $40. And you look at A, that's 20, the answer choice is $21.60. Well, we know that half of 40 is 20. 40 divided by 2 is 20. But our discount is only 20% off. So 50% is too much we can go ahead and strike out answer choice A because we know that it's not the correct answer. Let's take a look at D. We know that we can eliminate D as well because D is $44.16. That's more than even what the regular cost is. So we know that that answer choice is not correct. We're striking it out. We're only left with two answer choices, which is good whenever you're taking an assessment. It is always good to try to cross out as many answer choices that are wrong so that whenever you work out the problem, whenever you get the answer, if you get the answer of answer choices you've already marked out, you know that you've done something wrong and you just need to go back and figure out the problem again and see what your mistake was so that you can correct it in order to get the right answer. Now how am I going to solve my problem? I'm going to solve for the sales price and also for the total price. The first thing that I'm going to do is find what the sales price of the jeans are. We know in order to do that, we're going to take the regular price and minus our discount. $40 minus 8 is 32. Now, as I always say, whenever you're working out a problem, once you find an answer, compare it to your answer choices to see if there's anything that you can eliminate. I can eliminate C, $42.34, because it's greater than the sales price, which is $32. So we know that can't be the answer. C is crossed out. The only answer choice I have left is B, $34.56. So let's go ahead and come, um, totally work out the problem to see if that answer choice is correct. Of course, we know it's correct because we did, we worked it out in our problem solving strategy, but let's just go ahead and complete it out just to do a check. We found in order to find the total price, we added our sales price plus our tax, $32 plus $2.56 is $34.56. So yes, our answer choice B is correct. Talk to you soon.